Okay, I'm speaking with Cheyenne Police Department Spokesman Officer Dan Long. Dan, today a drill at the Cheyenne Airport. Tell us a little bit about the scenario. Yeah, so the scenario involved a, an active shooter in the airport terminal um, where a duress button was actually set off and officers were required to respond and uh, take care of the situation. What do you learn from these sort of drills? Uh, we learn a lot. These are actually going through the motions of actually uh, completing the tasks that are required. Um, it really lets us look at how we operate, how we operate with other agencies. Uh, big thing is the communications piece, making sure that all these pieces that uh, we, we can do them and that we're not finding any um, holes in our, in our procedures. And if we do, uh, that's what the exercise is all about, is, is finding ways to, to change and develop our plans so we can better respond in the future. Now, interestingly, a lot of the folks involved didn't know the exact script here, did they? No, and uh, it was, we had the, the main points of, the main elements of the exercise. A lot of it is unscripted so that officers can take initiative so that they can actually react or react how they would uh, or how they feel they should act. And that allows our, especially the command staff, to see how, how our procedures are actually working. Now, sadly, this type of incident is all too common in today's world. Do you try and schedule these drills around what's going on in the world? You know, and this is this is happening around the nation. Um, so we're definitely taking taking that into consideration. Uh, but we also have to look at different areas. We don't focus in on one specific area. Uh, we do these exercises so that we can get a, a breadth of uh, different scenarios. And you do several of these a year, is that right? Yeah, I, I don't have the exact number, but we, we do multiple scenarios. Dan, what agencies were involved here this morning? Uh, so this morning we had uh, the airport, TSA, security forces from the Wyoming Air National Guard, uh, of course, local law enforcement, uh, fire, and the AMR ambulances. Okay, thanks, Dan. Appreciate it.